Hey, how goes it? Ken Bozak here from the BitcoinPodcast.com to talk about Bitcoin and Bitcoin accessories. And today, we're going to talk about a Bitcoin accessory from Ledger. Ledger's blue cryptocurrency touchscreen hardware wallet. Uh, I did the unboxing for this device previously, so go ahead and check out the description box below for a link to that video. Um, but today, we're focusing on setting it up. So let's get this thing set up. Let's see... Yes, I did. Okay, let's get this bad boy out. Let's see, this guy right here. Alright, that's where we need to go. And this is what I need to write down. Make sure I keep that out of sight. Put some of this away. Okay. So, it says here, it says here that we have to go to uh, start.ledgerwallet.com. So, let's do that. Okay. Do do that's the one. So wait now what am I doing? Configure. Alright, yes. First that's with Yep. Okay. Alright, there we go. Power on your ledger blue. Okay. I did that. Alright, so, looks like right off the bat, we have to uh, choose our pin code and write down our backup recovery phrase. Um, let's see how far I can go. Alright, so I gotta take this off screen. Can you see that? There you go. Alright, so I have to come up with my uh, combo here. Okay. Gotta do it again. Okay. Alright, so here's the message I got now. See if you can see that. Alright, uh, your ledger blue will now display a list of 24 words that you will have to copy. Let's just do this. Alright, I gotta write these words down. I will skip this process for the video. Be right back. Okay, well, I'm not done yet, but so far the auto timeout is annoying. It's like every three seconds the screen just turns off. And it only displays four of the 20-something words at a time. Be right back. Okay, time's up, pencils down, hands up. As my second grade teacher would say. Alright, I wrote down those all felt like forever. Alright, now here's the screen as soon as I hit done that I was done writing them all down. This is the screen I got. So as you can see, it's asking me for the 20 second word. So, off camera, I will go ahead to my thingy here and write down exactly what it was.
and now it's asking me for another one. So it asks so far twice to confirm I actually wrote them down. Okay, so it looks like it only asked for it twice. All right, check it out. Check it out. You can't see it on that one. See it on this one? Yeah, it's ready. There it is. All right, so let's start. Ooh, 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 it's ready. Mm, 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 it's ready. All right, so I did that. Let's see. Install Ledger apps. Once you blah, 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 ready to use. Okay, so. Hmm. All right, let's see if I can get this. Hmm. Let's see. I didn't I didn't do a pre-run, so this is all fresh just for the record. I have no clue what's going to happen or what's the steps here. I feel like this is it right here. No, 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 no. Windows, Mac. All right, so this one right here. All right, cool, cool, cool. Android application, Chrome application. Well, sweet. All right, I'll do um, I'll do a little bit of each. I'll do the computer now, and maybe another video on how to do it with the phone, Android versus Apple. So for now, let's just do this. Oh, this is so cool. Do, 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 do. Oh, check that out. Alright, let's open that. I believe we're going to need this guy. The micro USB cable that it came with. Alright, yes, that is what we need. Alright, let's uh, connect to this. Alright, so as you can see, it's displaying a screen here with my uh, required pin. So I'm going to put my pin in. Don't look. Okay, cool. So this is the screen. You see that? All right. So I have Bitcoin Dash, Doge, Ethereum, Fido, Lite, and Zcash already on here, it looks like. Take another look. Sorry about all the different camera angles and everything and all that and every other. I'm, I'm really new to this, so please bear with me as I grow and better the uh, experience. But I do have it right here, so let's see. It says, uh, to begin, connect and unlock your wallet. I did that. Oh, open the desired. All right, so let's do Bitcoin. Open Bitcoin wallet. Connect your ledger blue. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so it's doing its thing here, and as you can see, it's over here on the computer. My account. Let's see, receive. Who wants to be the first to send me some Bitcoin to my Ledger wallet? I don't even have any on there my own yet. So uh, feel free, appreciate it as always. Definitely leave a note in any of the donations or tips or anything like that. I will shout you out. Thank you so much. All right, so it looks like this is it. This is the user interface, it looks like. It doesn't really appear that the user interface is on this device oh cool alright 
So I hit the back button on here. I'll do it on screen so you can see. All right, see how the Bitcoin's on here and on the screen, and if I hit the back button up top right, closes. Let's open Zcash. Do, 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 do. It takes a little while, but there it is. There's Zcash. Yeah, this is awesome, guys. All right, let's hit the back button again. Who do do settings? Oh, auto lock. All right. How about five minutes? Thank you. Power off this. Oh no, auto lock. Auto lock after thirty seconds is awesome. All right, no power off the power off delay. Uh. We can go for like five minutes, ten minutes right now for the sake of the video. Oh, let's see if there is a... That gets pretty bright. I don't know if you can see the difference. But that's pretty bright. That looks like you'd be able to see it outside in the daylight. Let's see here. Firmware 2.0, 2.0. Doesn't look like when you open settings anything happens over here on the computer. So I wonder how it goes with updates and stuff. But I got my Bitcoin wallet right here. So that's the setup right there. I mean, from here now... I can go ahead and just start sending Bitcoin and, um, you know, moving it around. So I can send Bitcoin to my ledger from the, from, well, all my phones right now are being used. So all of my electronic devices are being used. They can't actually show you sending Bitcoin. That will be another video. But um, it looks like as long as I have Bitcoin right here on the ledger, I have it plugged into my computer and it opens the Bitcoin wallet. I hit the back button. And I can open up, uh, you know, Zcash, and then Zcash appears over here on the computer screen. Let's see, my account, and receive. I have not bought any Zcash, so if there are any Zcash fans out there, I'd appreciate it. Uh, this, app, this wallet, this hardware wallet definitely uh, supports it, so I might actually get some now that I have a safe place to uh, store it. There we go. I'm trying to keep a live feed on that for you. Let's see. Ethereum. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I didn't see that there on the Bitcoin one. Let's see. Is it there? I don't... Nope. It isn't there. All right. Let's see. Go into Ethereum. And now there's a menu over here. And it says... Contract data and browser support. Oh, that's right. You can do smart contracts in this. Cool. All right. So, that, I mean, that's that seems to be it. That's the setup process. You uh, turn it on. You enter your PIN. You write down your 24 words. It'll ask you for two random numbered words from that list. And uh, from there, you download the application onto your you know medium mine at this time is my mac and it's chrome browser and that's what we're using right now on the screen here uh to interact with my account and receive that is pretty darn cool so there goes the setup process and uh stay tuned for the next video for adding coins and uh receiving coins and sending coins so the next video is going to be on how to receive coins and how to send coins using this hardware wallet. And um, yeah, shortly thereafter, we'll have another one on uh, how to do all of this with just the Android phone or just the iPhone, no computer, no browser, just an iPhone or just, you know, so I have the hardware wallet, I have my Android phone or my iPhone, and uh, we're on the lamp. See what happens. See how easy it is to use this thing on the go. And, uh, it, I mean, I feel safe now that I can put my Bitcoin somewhere offline. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, please give me the thumbs up. If you did not, go ahead and uh, give it the thumbs down. But please, if you do give me a thumbs down, leave a comment in the, descri or in the comments below. And I will try my hardest to, uh, you know, better my material for the future. Um, there is a link in the description below uh, it ends this giveaway ends on Christmas so I think there's only like 30 hours left 
at the time of this right now. So by the time I post this, probably be like 24 hours left. Um, but anyway, Christmas, noon, the giveaway ends. But if you click the link in the description box below, there is a chance to uh, enter a con or there's a, I'm sorry. <clears throat> You can enter a contest for a chance to win the Ledger Nano hardware wallet. Uh, it's a $30 value. Um, all you got to do is click the link, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube, and subscribe to the BitcoinPodcast.com SoundCloud, and uh, you're automatically entered. I will notify the person with a YouTube video slash tweet, and I will send you a link to purse.io. And uh, from there, you can send me your purse.io address, and I will send you $30 worth of Bitcoin to, for you to do as you please. Either buy the wallet or don't. It's your choice. I highly recommend you buy the wallet. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. All right, have a day.